Good morning. Thank you for coming out to the Clearwater Historical Society Museum. Today we're going to show you inside our library and meet a couple of our librarians. Hey, good morning. My name is Trudy Kelly, and this is my fellow librarian, Lisa Hughes. Um, we decided we walked into this space that you're seeing now and it was just full of boxes, boxes of books, boxes of newspapers, all kinds of things. And it kind of excited us that maybe we could do something with it and organize it for the library. Our first thing was to get a mission statement. And that is the mission of the Clearwater Historical Society is to educate, collect, preserve, exhibit, and promote the people, culture, and events of Clearwater's rich past. Our first thing we tackled were the books, and Lisa's going to tell you a little bit about what we decided on the books. Well, we were lucky to have a wonderful collection of books, and we were very surprised to see what was in this room. Um, and we decided to focus on the Clearwater history and Pinellas County history, and then broadened it to Florida history as well. We had a lot of um, books also from other parts of the South, but we decided not to include them in the collection because we wanted to be germane to the, the users of the museum. So that was how we chose the books that we put into the collection. Once we decided on the books, we needed a way to organize them on the shelf so they could be easily found. So Lisa and I went in and found the Library of Congress call numbers for each of the books and that way they are in a certain order that we can find and we also made a, a spreadsheet list of all the books so that we can refer to it to see if we own a book. Um, some of these we have two copies of which is great. Um, so these are wonderful books that people can use to research the history of the state, the county, and the area. Another exciting thing that we have in our library are yearbooks from the uh, schools from uh, Clearwater. We have the Kennedy Middle School and almost the whole set of the high school, Clearwater High School. And we do have uh, St. Pete College and we have a couple other books or yearbooks. The other things are we have these um, city directories and it's getting where yearbooks and city directories you can't find the print copies they're all online now these are exciting people come in and they can find addresses from businesses that were back in the 60s we go back to the 59 up to 87 1987 so these are very useful uh, some other things down below we have abstracts of titles anybody's looking for these we have about three boxes of these something we've been working on recently is making a listing of all of the scrapbooks and books of photographs of the classes from local schools we have these from North Ward Elementary School we have South Ward Elementary Oak Grove Middle School Kennedy Middle School and Kings Highway Elementary these are scrapbooks that were donated to the museum when North Ward Elementary was uh, closing. And as you can see, there are some really old ones. This is one from 1930. So if you think your grandmother went to school here and you'd like to see some pictures or some, some uh, publicity from that time, stop by. In addition, we have what are the principal's classroom photographs. And if you went to school here in 19, 56, you might be able to come and see all the kids in your class and see what it looked like and see your, your homeroom teacher. Uh, besides the uh, scrapbooks from the elementary schools, we also have them from the high school. And of course, along with the yearbooks that we have, they've co we've collected quite a few of the scrapbooks that maybe the PTA put together. Um, this is one from 1947. It's just full of articles that people have put. Um, this is an example of the class of 56. They had a reunion in 2012, so they put together a scrapbook full of pictures. So what's nice about it, if there's going to be a reunion of a class from the Clearwater High School, we can put some of these out for them. That would be interesting to see their pictures, the yearbooks, and any scrapbooks we have from that class. So these are very useful. Other scrapbooks that we have in the museum library 
are from individuals, from organizations, and from corporations and businesses. And we have quite a variety here. This is one from donated by Clyde Rigsby. And it's a lot of articles. Apparently he played football, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of football. Uh, I like I've always liked this one. It's very colorful, very cute. And it's I think nineteen let's see if I can find the year here. But it's a lot of pictures. Well done and they were, was donated to hear us. Uh, this is one that's the history of the South Ward School, and it's full of different articles that tell about the, when it was a school, and then a little bit about the Plum House, where the um, organization, the historical organizations first started, and then the whole thing of moving here. So this is a very interesting. And then these are a lot of different um, um, scrapbooks. These, this is a sign-in sheet. It goes back to 1957 of people that came from all over to visit uh, the Plum House. We're very pleased to have you come and see what we've done with the library, and we hope you come and, and visit. Uh, we also can use any, co any uh, collections, donations that you might have, yearbooks. We're missing a few years, uh, books that could go in here scrapbooks, whatever you might have that would fit into our collection, we would appreciate. So give us a call if you'd like to come and visit the library. You can give us a call at 727-754-8019, and we'd be happy to make an appointment for you to see what we have here at the library.